An image in no way, shape or form is measurable scientific proof of anything. Especially when your images are cartoons. That's what these are. These are cartoons. They are not actual photographs of people being in space, looking at the Earth as a whole and snapping a, a picture. It's ridiculous. So what we have to look at here is, first and foremost, we're looking at a ball. We know beyond any shadow of doubt that it's impossible to get anybody a liquid to display this type of behaviour. Bodies are liquid, demonstrable fact of your everyday existence, do not have the ability to support themselves and conform to the exterior of any shape and object. Bodies of liquid will take the shape of any container they are in, and the surface will be horizontal, level from every point to the other. If not, the body of water will start to flow. That's what a river is. So again, we have to look at the fundamental substances, the aspects of reality, and see what they tell us. We do not try to rewrite physics, the physical properties of substances on Earth, to try and make them fit an image. If the image is depicting something that's fallacious, that does not match observed contested reality, the image must be ignored. So you have to understand that an image is in no way, shape or form scientific measurable proof of anything. This abundant substance proves beyond any shadow of a doubt that it's an absurd idiotic belief that you have that you live on the exterior of this nonsense. And just as this quite rightly says, water in a lake, water in the sea, water in a pool, water in a glass, water in a classroom. And this is the difference these things are practical, they can be demonstrated. What you see here is a plastic toy, and we have all sorts of sophisticated language, that being mathematics, that has been used to try and describe and explain away physical reality in order to make people believe in absurdities, that being this nonsense here. Very simple, this is how liquids behave. This is not how they behave. These are facts of your everyday existence. So, what is going on in the sky in regards to the luminaries, the sun, the moon, the stars? Nobody knows. Nobody has been to them. Nobody knows what they actually are and where they actually are. And I have to add that they do not offer anything measurable about the dimensions of the Earth you stand upon. This substance can be depended upon, can be tested, known and applied by every single person alive. It tells everybody beyond any shadow of a doubt that they are living in a level contained system. Again, I believed I lived in a globe, I assumed it'd be true. I tried desperately to prove to myself that it was real. I failed miserably. I had to go over the emotional and psychological process and realise it that had been told a pack of lies. The people will ask, what is the motive? Why are these people dying then? When oh, everybody has to be in on it. I was not in on it. The majority of the people here were not in a lie. This is how a cult works. This is how brainwashing works. You don't have to be in on it. You just have to assume it's true. Although your whole practical reality everyday lived life is screaming at you, telling you it's absurd, 